Welcome back to Callahan Hall. So glad you could tune in here on Media Day now with Noah Waterman, much taller than most of our guests so far here today. But uh, no, it's good to be back in the building. Obviously, a, a good year for you guys last year, but there's got to feel a little bit of a chip on your shoulder, right? And how it ended? Yeah, I mean, uh, how how things ended really really uh, drove me and the rest of the team to to really improve this year because our goal this year is to make the tournament first first win uh, the league and then go to the tournament. So we've just been working real hard this year. Something the coach talked to me about um, when it came to you last year, obviously a very high percentage in terms of threes, but you were also talking about how hard teams were closing out on you because you know, it was you and Antoine pretty much shooting the majority of the shots. How, I guess, did you adjust to that and what, maybe what you learned out of that all that? Right. Um, so we had a couple scrimmages uh, this year already, and them like kind of face guarding me was a little difficult for me. So now I just got to learn how to put the ball on the, hit the floor and take advantage of these. That's, I'm sure, a little bit more of an emphasis for you last year. I know Coach was more so just having you shoot. Uh, and that's what he wanted to do because that was your strength. But probably wants you to be a little bit more of an all-around player, right, this year? Yeah, he wants me to be a little more uh, versatile. Oh, I guess, what have you done to work on that? Um, I've just been in, in the gym a lot, just working on my dribbling, my driving skills, because I already can shoot, so I just got to uh, expand my game. A lot of fresh new faces. I know that can be challenging at times. And last year, you know, it took you guys a little bit to gel. It took you a little, a few games to get in the lineup. But I guess what do you guys need to work on to make sure you're fresh and, you know, together by game one? Uh, I mean, mostly we just got to work on our chemistry. Like, um, I think we've been doing pretty good uh, in practices. Like, we, we go up and down a lot and just play a lot of five on five just so we can get that chemistry because we have a lot of skill on this. I know you've shifted a lot of positions. One reason for that is because you had that huge growth spurt. You know, started at 6'2 as a guard when you were in high school, but then, you know, grew up a lot bigger as, as the season went on. But I guess what has it been like for you to switch positions so much in your career? And I guess where do you see yourself, you know, as of today and this season? I mean, I see myself more like a 4-3 a and three this year. Um, yeah, like, <laughs> I, I don't really have too much to say on that. But, I mean, you've you've played – almost the full gauntlet of positions so that helps right to be right. To, to be able to be versatile and have that experience yeah so it, it's helped me since i grew up as a guard as six two so i i had the skills to dribble but last year they didn't really need me to dribble we had a bowl in those people so my job was just just to shoot but this year i gotta just man no thanks for stopping by here today look forward to playing out on the court and i guess what's the status of the hair coach mentioned it is this what we're going to see throughout the year yeah i mean i might change it up a little bit we'll see we'll see well, Noah Waterman, a big piece to this year's team. Back with Denny Cap after this.